Uh, so I've reached the part of the skilled RIC uh, 6502 assembly tutorial where I'm doing branching. Um, I'm learning about branching. So this is um, some code, some uh, assembly code, and you've got here the debugger, the A register, the X register, the Y register, stat pointer, program counter, and the CPU or my processor flags. I'm monitoring the memory here because the memory is storing to hex 0200 and hex 0201 so I've told the monitors to start at hex 0200 address um, this bit here I don't know at the moment what's going on there and so <clears throat> if I run that reset it so I'm debugging it so I step let's step through the <clears throat> let's step through this one line at a time load the X register with the immediate value hex 8 there we go that's now loaded in there. It's quite small, this font, and quite hard to read. Well, not hard to read, but it's quite small and, yeah, so not ideal, this font here. Okay, next step, decrement X register. So that should go down by one step. So that's gone down to hex 07. And then store this, store the X register in the address 0200, which is this byte here. Okay, this byte here step again I've stored that seven there in there I step again it'll compare the X register here with the value the immediate value hex 03 step so it's compared the X register which is hex 07 with hex 03 and branch back to this decrement label which starts the code running here again if we're not equal to zero so um, let me fathom this out okay so compare that to three Branch if not equal. So it says here first we load the value x the x register eight. First we load the value hex o eight into the x register. The next line is a label, label smart, yeah blah blah blah. After the label we decrement x, draw it to O two hundred, yeah. And then compare it to the value O three. Compare x, CPX compares the value in the x register with another value, which is this immediate value here. Okay, if the two values are equal, the zero flag is set to one, otherwise it's set to zero. Uh -huh. Branch if not equal to zero. That's a very weird instruction. It's not probably not that weird, but I'm just trying to comprehend in my mind, how that instruction functions. So, <clears throat> let me look at my book of words, which is a document here uh, in my folder. Exit full screen for a second, close other tabs. Uh, no, not there. Documents. 6502 assembly programming. This explains it, I think, more clearly. It's an old-fashioned style book, so it explains it in more detail, more thoroughly, how that works. BNE. Search for BNE. Branch not equal. It's loading. Branch if not equal. Hello, where are you? Mm -hmm. It takes forever to load up, this does. What's going on here? B N E. Forget that. That's ridiculous. I want to find the instruction for that. So Let's read this more carefully. I'm rushing a bit. So, 
CPX compares the value in the X register, the other value. If the two values are equal, the Z flag is set to 1. And what does that mean? What's the Z flag? Registers and flags. Z. Oh, forget that. Where was I? There we go. The Z flag. In the next line, branch if not equal decrement or shift execution to the decrement label if the Z flag is set to zero, meaning that the two values in the CPX comparison were not equal. Oh, right, okay. So basically, if what's in the X register is not the same as what's in this value here, will branch back up to decrement. If the two are equal, so let's say if the contents of the uh, X register is the value hex 03, which this is, same as this, they'll be equal. So you'll store that to the memory address uh, 0201, which would be that one there. Step. 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 Ah, step. Ah, so it's, de it's decorative. This is decrementing each time. Decrem decrementing? Decrementing, whatever. Step four, three. Ah, it's now jumped into there, you see, but it's stored it, you see. That's finished now. So basically, branch if not equal means if this previous, um, what's the word? I'm thinking of the word now. Evaluation. If it's evaluating, is the content? It's evaluating. It's, it's trying to evaluate whether the contents of X register is the same as this value here, which is hexadecimal 03. Immediate immediate value hex 03. This is just the value 03 hex. It's not coming from anywhere or going to anywhere. It's just the value, a value. I'm stating here. Compare your X register contents with this value. So it's comparing that to that. Okay, I'll reset that. Step through again. First instruction, load X register with hex 08. It's done that. Let's do that again so you can see that. Watch this here, 00, zero step 08. Next instruction, decrement X register by 1, step. So it's decremented by 1 to hex 07. Store the next instruction, store X register into the memory address 0200, which is here. Watch step, it's stored that there. Compare the X register, this here, X register, specifically this value here, with 03, the value 03 hex. If it's not equal to 03 hex, branch back up and start executing this again from this label here down into this point down to this point here once they are equal forget this bit here and go straight down here and store the result in memory address hex 0201 or just memory address 0201 to make it simpler so let's reset again step load the register x with 08 decrement the register by 1 which is 07 store the result in 0200 step that's stored that there compare with 03 didn't meet the requirements branch back up and keep stepping until it meets the requirements see watch this if you watch keep a watch on this address here I'll keep stepping and once the X register and the um, value 03 are equal, 
it will store it in O2A1. Um, yeah. So, a bit more detail here. Let's do a bit more detail here. This is a detailed section. Well, about as detailed as I get as a noob, as a newcomer. Okay, to assembly code on a 6502 microprocessor, as they would call it in the 80s. Reset, make sure reset that. Okay, step, load X with 08. Next step, decrement X by 1. Next step, store that in 0200. Now, mentally, just now, without saying it, I was getting confused as to why where this was changing each time, where that change is coming from. Of course, with each iteration over this loop here, with each iteration, it starts at the top again and decrements and stores again, overwriting the contents of what was there before. So that's where I was getting confused. So, so it's decremented it. Next step. Store in O2. Let's, let's, re let's restart again. Okay, I'll get mega confused. I'm confusing myself. Step. X register, fill it with 08. So load X with 08. Next, this is just a label, skip over that. Uh, decrement X by 1. Store the result in 0200 address. Yeah. Compare X with 3. If they're not equal, they're not. Branch back up to the top. And rinse and repeat. Decrement by one. Store by 200. There it is. Compare X register with three. Step. No, it didn't meet the requirements. Back up to decrement. And decremented, but it's now in five. Store to that address there again. O two hundred. It will be it will be useful here, I think, with this with this web page, this JavaScript uh, emulator simulator would be an arrow which pointed to the current instruction. It's a bit hard to follow. I find you keep your eyes have your eyes having have to keep scanning across to the registers here, and to the memory map here. I think it'd be easier to have an arrow, like a debugging arrow that jumps down with each instruction. Just, just a thought. Reset. Start again. Step. Load X with 08. I'm just reiterating this again and again out loud, so I learn it in my, so it sinks into my brain. Okay. Yeah. Decrement X. Store it in 0200. There it is. Compare with 03. Branch if they're not equal. Back up to decrement label. They're not equal. So there we go. Decrement again. Store again. Compare with three. Branch if not equal. It's branched. Decrement X. That's changed. It's stored. Compare with three. Branch if not equal. Decrement X. Store to O two hundred. Here, <laughs> I'll be made by now. Compare with three. O three even. Not doesn't meet the requirements. Branch if not equal. So now it's got a branch. Now to decrement again to 3 this time and store to 0200. Branch if not equal to equal to tongue tied. Too much coffee. <laughs> Branch if not equal to decrement. It is equal to decrement. Sorry, not not branch if not equal to decrement. Branch to decrement if it's not equal. So Branch if not equal, and then the thing you branch to is a decrement label. So it is equal. So it's going to so jump over this, it's going to skip this part here and carry on 
going down the program. Store X to 0201. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? I lost track there. Reset, start again. I'll get I'll get as far as we were before. I'll, I'll just fast forward it to where we were before. Okay. Where are we now? I'm waiting for the next occurrence of decrement X, which is this here. Oh, it's there. Sorry, there. There we are. We're just here now. We're halfway between here and here. We've just executed this instruction. The next one is going to store to here. Okay. So that's now, that's at 03, and that address is at 03. It's stored it there. Branch if not equal, well, they are equal, so next thing is to store x to 0201 which is there step wait why did it take two clicks <laughs> I don't know why that was. I don't know why that took two clicks reset <laughs> two cycles whatever <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here I don't know what I'm doing but I don't know what I'm expecting to I don't know Okay, so I don't know, it's hard to it's hard to articulate what I mean. Um, gosh, it's two a.m. early early for me. Right, so next step is to have a break and watch TV. Be on this too long. So reset. Make sure it's reset. Step oh eight. Decrement X. Store to o two hundred. Compare with three. No, it doesn't meet the requirement, so step. It's jumped up there again. Decrement X. Store in 0200. Compare with three. Doesn't meet requirements. Branch back again. Watch this. Decrement X. Store in 0200. Branch if not equal, they're not equal, so branch back again. Decrement, oops, no, I didn't want to do too fast there. Decrement X, store there. I'll come back to this, I'll come back to this in years to come and wonder why I was so slow and keep reiterating what I'm saying. Oh, because I'm just a beginner. Um, compare, branch. Decrement X, store there. They're both three. So compare. Branch if not equal, skip that. Store to there. Ah, there we go. So that, so that's the comparison part. That's the branch. It's it, it's evaluating this branch uh, instruction here. Evaluation, evaluating that. That's why I have to click it twice to step twice over this part here. The final, okay. So the final part is once we've once this value, once this once we've decremented x to three, and it's been not not twenty three to three to the value three. Once we've decremented x enough times to the value three, and it's stored it in the O two hundred address. We're now comparing it. Compare x with three. And it is three. So that's one more click, one more cycle. Branch if not equal. Evaluate that. That's another click. And store in 0201. Here. Yeah. And break. That's enough, I think. Bye.